Humans need a balanced diet to remain healthy and grow properly. And sometimes people get the balance wrong. And like humans, animals can get really fat. So join me as we take a look at the top 15 fattest animals ever seen. Number 15. King Penguin Chick they're the second largest species of penguin in the world, and due to the freezing temperatures they experience in their habitat on the ice-free islands in the South Atlantic and South Indian Oceans, king penguins have developed a number of ways to keep themselves warm. In adulthood, they're sleek, aquadynamic creatures that can fly through the water in search of fish and squid and rely on their water-resistant feathers to stave off the cold when they're on land. Things are different when they're chicks, though, and they haven't yet developed their feathers and instead are covered in a thick coating of fur. This isn't anywhere near as effective as keeping the warmth in, so they also put on a lot of fat, and this results in a three-month-old chick looking significantly larger than an adult. In this case, their apparent fatness is a purposeful survival technique to ensure they reach adulthood, but it's very different from other species of penguin and results in a slower development period. Most penguins will raise their young over a single summer before they're ready to swim in the ocean. But with king penguins, this is extended to around 14 to 16 months before they've grown enough and shed enough fur for them to be able to enter the water. The further effect is that because they rely on their parents to provide food during this whole time, king penguin pairs are only usually able to breed once every two years instead of every year. Number 14. Hercules the Liger a liger is a hybrid that's born to a male lion and a female tiger, and because of the resulting genetics, they are the largest species of cat in the world. As with all animals, however, there's a degree of variation between each individual, and the largest known liger is one called Hercules, who was kept at Myrtle Beach Safari in South Carolina. Amazingly, when standing on his back legs, he's 11 feet tall, and he weighs around 900 pounds. To maintain this bulk, he eats at least 20 pounds of beef or chicken every day and burns off the excess in no time. Despite his size, Hercules is an incredibly active animal who regularly swims, which itself is something you rarely see a lion doing. He also runs around his enclosure at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. As Hercules is a hybrid of two animal species that aren't native to the same regions, it's not possible to compare his size to what would be normal in the wild because ligers have only ever been born as a result of human intervention. He does undergo regular medical assessments to make sure he's healthy, and it's not believed that his excess bulk is causing any discomfort or long-term health issues. Number 13. Kale Chips the Beagle Pet dogs rely on their owners for all of their nutrition and exercise, but it's not that uncommon for people to misjudge the needs of their canine friends and cause serious health complications as a result. One of the most extreme examples of this in recent years was the story of Kale Chips the Beagle, and things had gotten so serious that intervention was needed as soon as a local shelter heard about him. His elderly owner had begun to develop memory problems, and this meant that he would forget if Kale Chips had been out for a walk, and so the pooch was majorly overfed. Beagles would normally be expected to weigh up to 25 pounds, but kale chips had ballooned to a whopping 85 pounds, almost three and a half times what he should have been. Luckily, his owner realized something needed to be done, and he allowed animal rescue experts to take kale chips to a local shelter. When they did this, the dog wasn't able to walk on his own, so had to be transported in a special wagon, but it was all worth it. Within a year, kale chips had almost lost half of his weight, and instead of being a slow, lethargic animal, he was bouncy, friendly, and loved chasing squirrels around the yard. Number 12. Pancho the Sea Lion Cabo San Lucas in Mexico is known the world over as a premier sport fishing location thanks to its population of striped marlin, tuna, and mahi but it's almost equally as famous for its huge sea lions that live in the waters, in particular, one called Pancho. Most of the sea lions there will hang around the docks in hopes that they'll be able to pick up the scraps that are thrown into the water from the fishing boats, but Pancho has managed to develop his own technique of acquiring food that has allowed him to get far more than any other sea lion and supersized in comparison to them. What's amazing is he's arguably the laziest of them all. Rather than hunting fish for himself, he'll instead follow boats in the ocean, and once they've hauled in a catch, he'll then brazenly leap onto the back of the boat and steal as many fish as he can. Rather than trying to fend him off, this has become a highly sought-after experience by those who visit Cabo San Lucas. So most people will let him do what he wants before diving back into the water in exchange for some photos and videos of him. It's by doing this that Pancho has reportedly reached a weight of 798 pounds, and he's showing no signs of slowing down. Number 11. Brahma Chicken 
There are hundreds of different breeds of chicken, each of which has its own unique colorations, temperament, and size. But the largest and fattest of them all is the Brahma, which is a breed that was developed in the United States from birds that were imported from China. They grow so large that the breed was actually the main source of chicken meat in the country between the 1850s and 1930s. And still today, their size can be surprising. In particular, it's the males that can keep on growing, and while they typically weigh around 12 pounds, individuals have been known to easily be double that and even more. At first, when you see one of these supersized birds emerging from a coop, they look just like any other, but it's when they start stretching out their legs and wings that you really see how ridiculously giant they are. They almost look like they're a person inside a chicken costume as opposed to an actual animal and are easily taller than most household dogs. Known for their fierce temperament, you'd surely not want to come face to face with one of these on a farm, especially if they think you've encroached upon their territory. Number 10. Odin the Walrus As they swim in some of the coldest waters on Earth, walruses need to build up huge fat deposits to keep themselves warm. But when they're kept in captivity, their instincts to keep eating remain, despite no longer needing to be as active to catch their food, and this can result in them becoming supersized. In the wild, in the Atlantic, males can be expected to weigh on average 2,000 pounds, with Pacific ones weighing slightly more. And this is why Odin, a walrus that's kept in Hagenbeck Zoo in Hamburg, Germany, has become so famous, because he weighs an astonishing 3,700 pounds. Despite being allowed to grow larger than he arguably should be, Odin is still fit and healthy and is able to move around the Arctic enclosure at the zoo, just as well as other walruses do. But his bulk does, however, mean that he's undoubtedly the dominant one in the enclosure, and none of the others would dare challenge his authority. This means he always wins first in line when it's feeding time, and you can only imagine the quantity of fish that an animal like this requires to keep its energy levels up. Number 9. Overweight Tigers Unfortunately, there are a number of zoos around the world that are fortunate enough to house some incredible creatures, but either don't have the funding or the know-how to actually look after them properly. This often results in animals becoming malnourished and underfed, but it's also just as easy to overfeed them too. And that's what's unfortunately happened at the Siberian Tiger Park in Harbin City in the northeast of China. Images began circling in 2017 of a number of overweight and extremely ill tigers that were being kept in enclosures there, where they would barely move all day. This is in sharp contrast to how these normally energetic creatures behave in the wild, and shows just how bad things had become. Authorities at the zoo claimed there was nothing to worry about, and that it was natural for tigers to put on some extra weight in the winter. But experts and animal charities disputed this and said that it's clear that these tigers have been overfed on a regular basis, something that may not have actually been the fault of the keepers. The zoo has been highlighted for a number of controversial practices over the years, one of which is the ability for visitors to buy chickens to feed to the tigers through the railings, and this had become a vital source of funds for the venue. Without any limits to this and a clear financial motive, this is most likely the cause of the terrible conditions of the tigers and something that campaigners have been trying to stop ever since the pictures first emerged. Number 8. Fat Rats Rats can be found in virtually every place on Earth and are the perfect example of a species that adapts and thrives where humans live. They scrounge and forage for food wherever possible, and can become a serious risk to public safety because of the diseases that they can carry. Cities in particular support huge rat populations, and anyone who has spent time in New York will have likely seen one scurrying around. Frighteningly, with so much food available, they're able to keep eating and growing, and they're believed to be thousands across the city that are much larger than is normal for the species. The average weight of a rat is usually around a half a pound, but as a recent study shows, they found that individuals can on occasion reach four times this, to the point where they're similar in size to a domestic cat. Once they reach a certain weight because of reliable food sources, traps and poison don't tend to work because they only stick to places that they know and trust, and this allows them to keep on growing. If a fat rat like this is your worst nightmare, your best bet is to simply avoid dumpsters and other common places where there's scrap food, because supersized rats are only likely to become increasingly more common. Number 7. Raccoons Native to North America, raccoons are another species that are renowned for their ability to scavenge food from dumpsters and anywhere else that it's been disposed. There's very little that they'll refuse to eat, and apart from aggressive behavior that can be displayed towards humans when they're trying to feed or take care of their young, some urban raccoons can grow to surprising sizes. 
The really fat raccoons, though, tend to be those that are kept as pets, where the owners simply continue to feed them. Raccoons typically grow to a maximum weight of 57 pounds, but this can easily be surpassed in the right circumstances. The world record holder for the fattest raccoon was one called Bandit, who lived in Palmerton, Pennsylvania between 1994 and 2004. He had a thyroid problem, which helped to increase his size further, and after being raised by dogs, was adopted by a woman for the last few years of his life. In setting the record, Bandit was found to weigh 75 pounds, which is around one and a half times what he should have been. Of course, because this was largely the result of a medical abnormality, there was nothing his owner could do about his size, and she simply made life as comfortable for him as she possibly could. Number six, Fat Albert the Polar Bear. Traditionally, polar bears tended to keep to Arctic environments, where there used to be plenty of food for them to hunt to support themselves and their families. But with shrinking habitats and increasing difficulty to find prey, it's becoming increasingly common for them to venture closer to human communities, too. To prevent them from getting too close, and as a sign of respect to the bears that share the same environment, some communities in Alaska purposefully leave food out for them, and this has led to some getting frighteningly large. Specifically, it's common to leave whale blubber a few miles from town when a whale is being harvested, and this stops the bears from interrupting the process. It's been done for thousands of years, but recently, with fewer bears, each individual is now eating far more. In 2020, a new monster bear was spotted near Katovic, Alaska, which locals nicknamed Fat Albert. While normal polar bears, as the largest species of all bear, can be expected to grow to around 1,000 pounds, Albert was estimated to tip the scales at a whopping 1,500 pounds. It doesn't seem as if his huge size is affecting his ability to hunt and survive, though, and it's more than likely this extra bulk will actually help him endure longer periods without catching any food, which, because of climate change, is happening more and more often. Number 5. Samson the Cat as anyone who's ever owned a cat will know, they often quite happily keep eating anything that's available to them, and you have to keep a close watch on just how much they're consuming. Some breeds, however, are naturally large to begin with, and individuals can become enormous. And that's exactly the situation with Samson, the cat that in 2016 was declared the largest in New York. He's a Maine Coon cat, which is the largest of all domesticated cat breeds. Normally, they grow to just over 3 feet long and weigh up to 20 pounds. Samson, though, is much larger and measures 4 feet long and weighs 28 pounds. The concern with this increase in size would be for Samson's weight, but according to his owner, he undergoes regular checkups and is as healthy as other Maine Coons of the same age. He's also gone on to live a more event-filled life than his peers, having traveled to LA and other cities around the country to appear on TV shows and at events to show off his size and amazingly friendly and playful personality. Number 4. Goldie the Goldfish One of the most popular pets around the world is a goldfish. They're relatively easy to look after and can be kept in a tank of fresh water that doesn't need to be heated. But how big is the biggest one you've ever seen? Their supersized potential is all about how they were originated, with the first ones being selectively bred in China more than a thousand years ago. As a member of the carp family, their color and small size was focused on, but this means that on occasion they're able to grow as much as other types of carp do in the wild. And this can be a big surprise for their owners. Goldie the goldfish, for example, gained worldwide attention in 2012 when images circulated online. Not only was the fish 15 years old, when they normally have a life expectancy of 10 years, but it was massive, measuring 15.7 inches long, which is three times what would normally be expected. He weighed 2 pounds and was almost 5 inches tall. According to his owner, the secret to growing a goldfish like this is lots of love and attention, regular high-quality food, and warm water being added to the tank. And to her, he had become as much a part of the family as every other pet she had had. Number 3. Elephants African elephants, which are native to regions across sub-Saharan Africa, are the largest land animals in the world, growing on average to a length of up to 13 feet and weighing as much as 13,000 pounds. They've been around for at least 5 million years, but despite managing to survive all that Mother Nature can throw at them, they're now at serious risk of extinction because of human activity, both from hunting and habitat destruction. And this means that the only opportunity most people in the world will have to see one is in a zoo. Conservationists argue that keeping the animals in captivity is now one of the best chances to preserve them for future generations. But without vast savannas to roam, they aren't kept in anything like conditions they're used to in the wild. 
This means they don't exercise as much as they should, and food is simply given to them as opposed to having them to find it. And the consequences of this are surprising. A recent study found that at least 40% of the captive elephants in the world are obese, which results in poorer health, shorter lifespans, and infertility. If you've seen an elephant in a zoo, it's therefore quite likely that you've seen one that's been much fatter than it should be, something that should surely raise the question of whether they should really be kept in captivity at all. Number 2. Bud the Parrot Birds are usually deceptively lightweight, and this is for an obvious reason, because it means they don't need to use as much energy to be able to fly. When they're kept in captivity in cages, though, without much room for exercise and with an ample supply of food, things can quickly get out of control and they begin to fatten up. That's what's happened to Bud the Parrot, who was kept by a family in Norfolk, England. They realized they were out of their depth in looking after the animal and gave her to a local animal rescue who immediately saw that she was unhealthy. When they weighed him, they found he was 1.4 pounds, which was 7 ounces more than he should have been, and classed him as being significantly overweight. He was unable to fly and could barely move around her cage. The only thing he was able to do was to detect the unmistakable sound of bag of chips being opened and begging to be given some. The rescue center put Bud on a chip-free diet straight away, and luckily he began to lose the excess weight. Within a matter of months, he was able to fly again and is expected to go on to live a long and healthy life. Number 1. Uncle Fatty the Monkey It's quite a common sight to see macaques in Thailand, particularly around the markets where there's plenty of scrap food available. But there's one that became renowned for his greed and size and became known as Uncle Fatty. Normally, the animals will weigh a maximum of around 15 pounds, but Uncle Fatty tipped the scales at 33 pounds, and this was all down to overeating. He lived near a floating market where food is sold from boats and had become a sight in his own right for tourists. They would throw him food to watch him chow it down, and this simply further exacerbated the problem. His favorite snacks were apparently noodles, corn on the cob, milkshakes, and sweet melons, and with a similar physiology to humans, his diet caused him to put on huge amounts of fat. He didn't even have to move much at all because he had enlisted the help of a group of other macaques to pick up food and bring it to him. Eventually, an animal rescue center intervened and took Uncle Fatty away from the market and rehomed him at their facility around 100 miles away, where they could strictly control his intake and ensure he takes part in a daily exercise program to help shed the pounds. To begin with, he was making steady progress and started to show signs of improvement, but one day he vanished from the center, and it's thought he managed to make his way back to the market where he could pick up from where he left off. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.